What is up everybody on YouTube? This is MSI Afterburner and today I'm going to show you how to use it and how to some simple tips on it and anything else that I could think of. Alright, so let's move down the list. First we have core voltage which is basically how much um, power your actual graphics card brings in and uh, you're just going to probably unless you're actually advanced or you're having issues you're just going to probably want to leave that um, you know unchecked. Basically there's a way you can actually just by simply clicking or uh, unchecking and checking these boxes you can actually make it to where you can customize these yourself just by a simple slider bar then you have core clock and you have actual hints here to where you can actually see what everything does which is pretty nice and then um so you can actually overclock it with this program by simply sliding a bar and then just clicking apply and the only thing about this though is that if you X out of it anything that you have done here it's not gonna be the actual same as if you just had your graphics card running solo without something to control it and then you have shader clock, which is also locked. Memory clock, which is not locked, which is actually memory clock. I'm pretty sure it just involves the actual built-in memory on your graphics card. And then you have your fan speed, which you can have auto or set to control. And basically your fan speed will automatically change um, depending on what kind of game you're playing. And uh, you can see you have an uh, on-screen display of... Um, how everything is running so you can see you have your GPU temperature and it runs in an actual grid so you can see uh, what might use more temperature than the other and then you have your fan speed and for some reason mine says zero which is kind of actually I think this is actually GPU usage I'm hoping yeah that's what it is because the fan speeds right here you can see it's at 48 and then you have your core clock and uh, frame rate and whatnot alright so let's go ahead and get into the settings so first you have you can select which graphics card you want to use. So if I had two graphics cards, I could select a different one. And then you have the general properties, such as start with Windows, start minimized. So that would be if I just wanted to start it with Windows when it starts up. And then you have your unlock to put to unlock these things, which I wouldn't suggest doing unless you're good at overclocking and you need to use it, but there's no really good reason to use it. And now when it comes to the fan, I noticed that I can't really... I don't know what went on with my graphics card for a long... I've had it for probably three months, and I've had no issues with it whatsoever. It's like, has not made a single sound, but... For some reason, just recently, all my games started crashing. Like, every single game I would play would just crash while I'm playing it. So after I tried uninstalling, like, every single one of my games, I finally figured out it's just because my graphics card was overheating. So all I gotta do for that is you have this little graph and uh, it's gonna start off and it's gonna look something like this like there'll be like a point here and then it'll just go up one more point and then go to here you're gonna wanna kinda tweak that around to where it works with yours and this is only if you actually need to do it so basically this is right here so if the temperature basically reaches let's so right here about 32 degrees celsius then the fan will move to 50 well actually about 48 percent and so then, if, say, like, what I had to do is I had to make for games. So, say, normally when I get into a game, my degrees will go up to about 52. So, I made it to where the fan goes up to about 58. And so, it actually will increase the fan speed whenever I go into a game now. All right. So, let's go to move to the next one. Then you have monitoring. This is how often it refreshes all your, uh, like, the actual percentages of everything. Sorry about my grammar there. And then you have... Uh, Things like GPU temperature, GPU usage, fan speed, core clock, memory clock, and frame rate. Those are the things that you, if you want to be able to see on your graph over here. And then you have your minimum and maximum limit. This is, you can see, it goes up to 100. And that's in case you don't want to accidentally put it to 100 and then have your fan, like, blow up or something. And then you have here, if you have, like, a Logitech keyboard, it says, you can actually make it to where it can show on your display. Or I know some um, Razer keyboards are like that. And then you have uh, things like how you can make it to where in a game you can see your frame rate and everything. So, so this can be good for like benchmarking and whatnot. And then you have uh, to be able to actually capture um, like a screenshot. You have this right here. So that's if you want to just take an image of the full screen. You can choose what type of files and then where the output is of the file. And then you have profiles, which is basically to where if uh, I want to have like one for economic and one for gaming then you can make like different profiles that you can just click on and have ready for you and then you have your last stuff which is language and what I like little setting that they added is to where you can choose your 
like I can make this skin blue right now just by clicking OK so you can like change your skin and it also changes the size too if you want so that's a pretty nice feature um, so, uh, it's a pretty simple program to use and another thing you gotta be careful about like I said I had the whole problem with crashing games so now whenever I play a game it seems as though until I find something different or um, I haven't really looked into that much it's just to where I have to have this program open while I'm playing a game or else uh, the graphics card just the fan won't speed up for some reason like it doesn't have it's like it just stays really like I mean it's quiet the whole time but then all of a sudden my game will crash because the actual graphics card overheats and the fan doesn't do anything about it for some reason. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Comment, rate, and subscribe, and we'll see.